This is Dr. Shulian from the NerveMD and the Neurology, Muscular Dystrophy and Neuropathy Institute. I am a neuromuscular specialist, which is a subspecialty of neurology. I specialize in diseases of the muscle and the nerve. The diseases of the nerve are in general called neuropathies. Neuropathy essentially means the disease of the nerve. One of the subcategories of neuropathies are called CIDP. This is a disease that's uh, seen in our office frequently and it could become a very uh, severe disease and disabling for the patients. We're making a series of videos uh, to describe what uh, CIDP is, how uh, it's diagnosed, what are the symptoms and what are the treatments that could be done for it. Even though the, the disease could be very severe, but there are very good treatment options that we could help the patients significantly. In this video, we're going to describe what is uh, CIDP and what uh, causes it. CIDP is essentially an inflammatory diseases of the nerves. The term CIDP or the word CIDP stands for Chronic Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyneuropathy. Chronic means a disease that's occurring over weeks, months, or years. These are patients that could have the problem for several months or a couple of years before it gets severe enough that they come to see a doctor. There is an acute form of it called AIDP, Acute Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyneuropathy, or the more common term, Guillain-Barre. This is the, the uh, more acute form of CIDP, or otherwise known as Guillain-Barre, which proceeds over hours or days. In these videos, we'll be describing CIDP, the chronic form. Inflammatory, inflammatory means that the nerves are inflamed, and inflammation is essentially a dysfunction of the immune system. In the body, the immune system is generally able to distinguish between cells or proteins that are self and non-self, meaning that if a bacteria or a virus comes into the body, the immune system is able to differentiate that this cell or bacteria doesn't belong to the body and it attacks the, nerve, the cell or the bacteria and it destroys it. It also is able to differentiate that a cell that it's uh, seeing in the body belongs to itself, meaning that if it sees a nerve cell, it will recognize that the nerve cell belongs to the body and it will not attack it. In CIDP, this differentiation is lost and the immune system attacks the nerves and it destroys them. The, uh, the next term in the word uh, CIDP is the, uh, the letter D. It stands for demyelinating. On the, in, the, in the regular nerve, there are two parts uh, to the nerve. One part is the nerve itself and the second part is a covering of the nerve called the myelin. The nerve works like a wire. There is a copper to part of the wire, which is the nerve itself, and then there is the insulation on the outside, or the plastic that's on the outside, which is equivalent to the myelin. In CIDP, the first thing that's destroyed is the myelin. That's what demyelinating means. The immune system is attacking the myelin on the cells, and it destroys them. If the disease progresses further, then the nerve itself is also attacked, and it damages the nerve itself. And that's what the demyelinating part uh, means. Polyneuropathy means diseases of the nerves. And uh, it means that the nerves are generally attacked, not a specific nerve uh, in the body. And that's what the word uh, polyneuropathy means. In the next videos, we'll be describing uh, what are the symptoms of CIDP, uh, what are the diagnostic techniques that are used to the diagnose it, and how is it uh, treated. Thank you for listening. And for more information, please visit our website at nervemd.org nervemd.org